Welcome back to the Malta Man Cave. I'm Keith. I'm Dave. We've had a pretty heated discussion about politics this evening, so we're ready to do some drinking. And Dave, I, I, just to say I'm sorry, <laughs> I got a special bourbon for you, my friend. Oh, okay. All right. And the way that we're doing it tonight is a little different. Um, Keith, this was a sample, um, and so... He's, I'm going to have my first notes. Oh, yeah. First. Nice disclaimer. So, my, Dave is not, he did not get to get notes off camera. So, <clears throat> this is going to be live <laughs> notes from David Bruns. David. All right, so tonight, just for David, we're doing a bourbon, and we have to thank Travis Faircloth for sending this. Thank you. Beautiful. He sent a very good size of it for us to, to review, so I just want to say thank you because I know how expensive and hard to get this one is. So we're doing Parker's Heritage, age 13 years. Very, very hard to get from Heaven Hill. It's kind of like kind of like their George T. Stagg, their you know Buffalo Trace antique collection. Um, I was looking online. It can be up to like 500 bucks, so... Very appreciative, Travis. Thank you very much, man. Um, this baby comes in at 63.7% ABV. It is obviously non-colored, as all bourbons are not colored, and is not chill filtered. Read a little bit about this. It says, Heaven Hills Master Distillers crafted a wheat whiskey, the first new style of American whiskey introduced since Prohibition, made using soft winter wheat as the primary grain and paired with corn and malted barley. It was originally bottled under the Bernheim Original Wheat Whiskey label and has a smooth, round taste profile and gentle finish. So we shall see if that's true. So also I wanted to say a little shout out. We have a new uh, Patreon um, supporter. Dwayne Large is a kind of a guy I've gotten to know online. He's a really good friend. He just recently got back from Isla. He's a huge whiskey geek, which I love because you know I'm a whiskey geek. Um, he supported us and just wanted to say thank you to you, Dwayne. You're awesome. Thanks, man. So without further ado. Yeah, yeah, let's get into this, so. I'll go first. Thank you. So initially, this reminds me of kind of Maker's Mark being a weeded bird. But obviously, it's a lot better. It's more rich. It's more full of flavor. Man, it immediately reminds me of Sara Lee honey, honey bread. Sweet corn syrup in the background. Buttered popcorn, which I also get with Maker's Mark. Maraschino cherries, oak, fennel, wintergreen, toffee, cocoa powder. Just the, it's, the chocolate isn't, it's just barely there. Just a little hint of like a dusting of cocoa powder, just barely in the background. And a vanilla Coca-Cola. What about you? What's, what say you? <clears throat> Have you ever had a, a haystack before? Oh my gosh, I just had some, they're amazing. Yes, um, this reminds me of a haystack. It does, right? actually. Yeah, reminds me of a haystack, and I don't know what. What, what are those um, things in the haystack? Like noodles. <clears throat> uh, they're the Chinese noodles or something like that? Something. Who thought to put those in, though? They're somebody, so good. Somebody cheap like my mom. <laughs> have you ever had... No the, bakes! Have you ever had... Uh, my wife makes these, and she got it from my mom. So they melt down chocolate, and they melt down um, butterscotch, like the, her, the kisses. Yeah. The little minis. And then they put... Um, peanuts in it, and then they put crunched up uh, potato chips. Man, see, and I can't. The run. sweet, like chocolatey and salty. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. That sounds so good. Reminds me of it's. It's a little <clears throat> bit. Um, so vanilla, oak, everything's there, but also to a little bit of honey and banana for mm. me. I uh, reminds me of. Ben eats mm. Ben eats uh, banana. When we run out of jelly, we do peanut butter, banana, honey sandwiches. <clears throat> yeah, it smells like an like an oak like a wood shop. Yeah, Mr. Morrow's room. <laughs> I still can't believe that he got away with making pressing ammo <laughs> while we were at school. <laughs> It's a different day and age in school nowadays, kids. Reloading ammo while we're taking an exam. Or the, we're learning CAD. In the 90s. <laughs> you can get away with preparing ammunition at school with children. That's great. Um, yeah. 
a little bit of the, I, see, I, I'm getting a little bit more of the chocolate than what you, you got. It reminded me definitely, when you were saying like a little bit of I was thinking, powder dusting. Yeah, I was thinking Nesquik-ish. Yeah. Yeah, it smells great, man. I can't wait to taste it. All right, so on the palate. Mm. It is so full of flavor, man. It is like, comes bursting through of, again, butter, popcorn, maraschino cherries, a little bit of oakiness, cocoa. It's so good, man. Yeah? Yeah. I knew you'd like this. Ah, darn it. I knew you'd like this. Man, that's good. I get a little bit of fennel again, sweet corn syrup. I get a little like a like a lozenge, like a cough drop, but like a like I don't even know how to describe it. There's something a eucalyptus note or something or lozenge. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. But there's something like that there. It's like pop rocks in your mouth. Do you get that on your tongue? I don't know. The feeling that it gives you. Like probably the ABV. But it, oh. Then again, I, it's a little bit of cinnamon, and then again, vanilla Coca-Cola. Freaking amazing, man. Dude. <clears throat> Thank you, Travis. This is so good. So, this might sound cheesy, but this reminds me of going to the fair, and like everything at the fair, all the sweets. You just said Coca-Cola, like the fountain, the, the big fountain drinks. Yeah. Everything there, the... <clears throat> Have you ever had chocolate covered uh, or fried Snicker bars? Yeah. So good. Dude, everything there. It just reminds me of a fair. It's a fair for your mouth. And now that I'm thinking about that, I do get a nuttiness. I don't know what nut it is, but there's yeah. some kind of nuttiness to it. Um, I was going to tell you, um, my aunt makes these pretzel nut um, white chocolate things, um, combo things. And this reminds me a lot of that. Man, what about the finish for you? It's sad. I know, sad. I'm sad that it's gone. It's kind of medium, I would say. So, I agree with you. It starts off like super powerful. Yeah. Like, like this is going to last forever. Shh. Like I thought this was going to be like the best finish I've ever had in my life. And then it, it just, it's, it's not short at all. It's just medium. Yeah, medium. It's not as long as I initially thought it was going to be. It's mm. kind of full of maraschino cherries. Dude, buttered popcorn. You see the, you get the buttered theater. popcorn? Yeah. It, you're, I always get that with weed Just took Ben to go see Into the Spider-Verse. Um, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. That? It was good. Things were a little bit over his head. Um, but I appreciated that. How would he been did now? It, they didn't overdo any of the more, uh, older kid themes. Yeah. How um, been but they did have older jokes. He's, he just turned six. Man. I, I can still remember when you brought him over when he was like a little, little, little bit playing older. Xbox over at your house when it was daddy, daddy day. Um, so finished exactly you said like bursting full of flavor like it's gonna be long and, and then it's just more medium it kind of trails off a little bit sooner than I thought it would baby you're a fire <laughs> it's like a firework going off for sure it's got the trail that comes down all right what are you gonna give this malted man cave mark oh man low because I didn't have very much of it no. um Ninety-four. Oh. <laughs> oh crap. <clears throat> I think it's my favorite, man. Seriously? Yeah. Even over Colonel E. H. Taylor, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. What's the proof on this? It's high. I think it was like sixty-three point seven. You have the bottle there, I think. <clears throat> it's such an easy. It's sixty-three point seven percent ABV. It's amazing how delicate they can make something so. Brute, brutish in that regard. It's because it, like, there's so much like good flavor going on, you can't even tell how hot it is. How do you even do? How, how do? You, how do? How does the master distiller or whoever created <clears throat> this concept 
<laughs> even come up with something. Like that. I mean, obviously, it start, first starts with good ingredients. Yeah. And then, other than that, is it's leaving it in good oak barrels in like a good location in the warehouse where it can kind of soak in and out, get all that those vanillins and all that amazing flavor. So I can't have a uh, my warehouse set up like next to my house Could. in the cemetery. Yeah, Ohio and I mean we're not that far away from Kentucky, and Kentucky makes the best bourbon in the world. So, and we are in like the Ohio Valley, dude. Let's you do it, tell man. Me. I would totally love to start a distillery. We should do it. So, 90, 94. 94. You know, I'm going to follow suit. It's definitely over 90. Woo! I think it's a... Red alert. If I could give it a 91.5. Almost a 92. I'll stick with 91. 91. This is really close to 92. This is oh, man. one I'm, of the best bourbons. This reminds I'm me... I'm saving my last little... Yeah. When I drink this, it reminds me of how good Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, George T. Stagg. Mm. Um, there, I had a Pappy Rye that I had with <laughs> Mead Meal, my cousin. We didn't have very much of this, and so that's why I'm. this is my first dram of it. But he, uh, for my my sipper before, while he was writing out whatever he was thinking of what he was going to say. I gave you some Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Yeah, yeah. And this, man. This beats it? Yeah, yeah. This is this is definitely more lively, I would put it. This is definitely unique, and I, I do appreciate weeded bourbon. Some people don't like weeded bourbons, but I love them. I love like the maraschino cherries, the buttered yeah. popcorn that you know, the butteriness that you get from it. Yeah. Honey if you don't like this, you don't crazy. like you don't like bourbon. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Question of the night. It ringing in the new year. What are your top three resolutions starting off this new year? Okay, so... Things that you want to change or things that you want to do differently? The first thing is I would like to um, be a better husband and a better father. Um, you're, I, you're a pretty good dad. I feel like we can always work on that, though. And sometimes, especially when we're both working, it's easy to come home and have a bad day. Be and, grouchy, not yeah, say that, beautiful, yeah. So feet. just work on... <clears throat> Work on leaving my work at the door. Um, Number one for me, yeah. we can go back and forth. Yeah. Um, I've already started doing this, um, so I hope I can continue it into 2019. For the last month or so, I've pretty much been only drinking on the weekends. Dun, 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 dun. Now, you know, obviously if we do a review or something, yeah. it's different. But like just for mere pleasure, I only want to drink about two or three nights a week. Now, that's not... I think that you can totally drink healthy and drink like one or two a night or whatever. It's just for me, I need to lose weight. And he wanna... stays up for 48 hours straight starting on, on think... Friday night at 12 like... o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it just starts. <laughs> they say that's just as bad for your liver, but I don't buy it. Anyway. Just hammered. 48 hours. <laughs> but just with all the, I've had a bunch of sports injuries and I was hurt in the military. So I've been on like. Tramadol and ibuprofen and acetaminophen. I just need to give my organs some a uh, little break. So that's my first one. What about what's your second one? Let's see here. Um, second one would probably be I need to get my uh, my outside uh, shot in basketball uh, <laughs> better. I need to. Uh, I used to be able to practice a little bit during the week, and I haven't been able to take that time. Where would you practice at? At my church. Nice. Yeah. And so Ben's getting like to the age where I can lower the hoop a little bit and he can, he can. <coughs> so, awesome. um, I'd like to get my, my outside J working a little better. <laughs> All right. Number two for me, not that I will never drink it, but I do not want to consistently drink pop. Okay. Only if I absolutely need caffeine and there's nothing yeah. else available. Um, I just, I just really want to lose weight. Yeah. Having the injuries that I had, it really set me back and I've gained. And then obviously I, I'm not a very good dieter, as you know. Dude, it's hard. <laughs> and I used to be such a good athlete that I could just work it off, eat whatever the frick I wanted and just work it off playing basketball or whatever. But I can't do that so much anymore. So I'm going to get you back out there. 2019. Next year, next year I'm coming to the alumni basketball <laughs> That hammy is going to be feeling real strong. <laughs> All right, third. 
the third one is man. I'm coming up with these. All, I. We are I'll com- tell you what. We're coming up with it on the fly because we were going to talk politics and then me and Dave got to an argument. The so real... we're not doing that question of the night. So and then, and then after, at the end of it, I said we should say what our favorite things about each other are. <laughs> and then I was like, no, we're going to get too many gay jokes. <laughs> so, um, third one. My third one is going to be... Dude, I need to... Um, I need to strengthen my core. I would like to, I would like to have maybe abs. Yeah. In 2019, I've never really had defined abs. Really? This is impossible. I'm not going to do the work that it <laughs> takes to do it. This is retarded. That's not a, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. It's good to say that. No, that's a terrible one. All right, third one for me. I keep on saying that I'm so as a therapist. I, and I make my own schedule, you know, as long as I work decent hours, my boss doesn't bug me because I typically work like way more than they expect me to. And I keep saying I'm gonna like come home by like six or seven and not work till like 7.30 and get home. And I really, cause then what happens is kids will come or people that work and they're like, well, we really need to get my kid in and we can't come cause we work and, and Billy has to do this. And so I'm like, and then I give in like, cause I, I'm a people yeah. pleaser. Yeah. And I just need to learn to sometimes to be like, no, because my family comes first. And health comes first. I work out more if I don't get home so late. So Yeah, it's hard when it's it's hard when your job is people relying on you. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so tell us what your guys' New Year's resolutions are in the in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and as always, Slancha. Happy New Year.